the commons required for this experiment are node mcu board mq135 sensor dst11 sensor connecting cable and connecting wires Now we can set up the Google spreadsheet. For that go to Google and select apps and then select sheets. Here click on blank spreadsheet. Here we can give a name for the spreadsheet. I am giving the name as air quality monitoring. And also we need to give a sheet name. Rename this air quality data sheet. Now we need to copy this file name and sheet name in our program. So copy this file name. And this is our Google script. And paste the file name here. And also paste here. Then copy the sheet name and paste the sheet name here. Also we need to paste the sheet name in our uh, Arduino program. Here also we need to paste the sheet name. Then we need to copy this sheet ID and paste in our script. So this is our sheet ID. Now we can deploy this script. Copy this script, go back to our Google spreadsheet and here click extensions and then select app script. Re replace this and paste the script here. So give the project name air quality script and then deploy the script. For that select this deploy and then select new deployment. Here go to the settings and select the type as web app. Then give any description. And here execute as me, means your ID, your Gmail ID and who has access. Here we need to select anyone and then select deploy. Here click authorize access and then select the Gmail ID which you are using. Here click advanced and then click go to the script name and click allow. Now copy this deployment ID and then click done. And then we need to paste the deployment ID in our Arduino program. In the program, we need to have some additional header files, HTTPS redirect and debug macros. So I will include these header files in the video description. And then we need to enter the Wi-Fi username, Wi-Fi password in the program. Then we need to upload the program. For that, go to tools and select the board as node ESP8266, node MC 1.0 and then select the port. And now click this arrow button and upload the program to the node MCU board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the node MCU board. Now we can check the output. We can also check the output in the serial monitor. 